the championship. We went through the rules in the locker room. I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Punches here are okay. Punches right here at the top are okay. Any questions? My question. Touch gloves. Good luck. Here we go, Freddie. Bruce, Paul, you ready? Lockout trained by the veteran Freddie Roach, former protege of the great Eddie Futch, regarded by some as one of the very greatest of all modern trainers. Eliezer Julio, a part of the stable of uh, Ricardo Maldonado, who sent many top fighters into the ring. Box. Maldonado was also the manager of Agapito Sanchez, who fouled Pacquiao so ruthlessly in San Francisco. And Freddie Roach said to us yesterday, I wouldn't be surprised if Julio tries to do the same doggone thing. Guilt by association, maybe. Or just trying to get Pacquiao ready to be more protected this time, perhaps. Freddie says he would like for Pacquiao to learn to foul a guy back when he fouls him. But Pacquiao's two sportsmen like to do so, he says. Well, I can't imagine anyone fouling me when I were fighting that many times, me not like it one back, uh, so this must be a real good kid. Big left hand by Pacquiao. Julio stops him in his tracks there with a left hand counter. Both fighters using their jabs early, and uh, I think Pacquiao has already got some of Julio's respect for his power. I think so. You can see that Julio has got a concerned look on his face. You see a little bit of strain in his eyes when he gets hit with some of those punches. Pacquiao can punch. When you come up to 122 from 118 and you get Manny Pacquiao in your third fight in the division, you may be biting off something more than you can chew. But Julio has a lot of knowledge and a lot of craft. Oh, big left hand by Pacquiao. And he got countered by a nice left hand counter by Julio. Sometimes the first couple of punches might rock you, but then you taste the power and sort of get used to it, right, Bobby? Well, you know, there are times that you can sort of adjust to it, but if you get caught one of those and you're not looking, I'll tell you what, your legs come right out from under you. When you catch it looking, boy, oh boy, it hurts so much more. Pacquiao with a body shot after missing with the wild right hand. You can see what a big hitter Pacquiao wants to be. Throws every punch with aggressive intentions. Julio, a little bit more of a change-up artist, and holding his own now after a rough first minute. One of the things, there's a beautiful straight left hand by Pacquiao, but one of the things that's helping Julio is that jab. It's all set in the combinations of Pacquiao. Put your head. Put your head. Pacquiao saying it was an elbow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And there's a low blow. So already an elbow and a low blow from Julio making contact with Pacquiao, and that's exactly what Freddie Roach suggested he thought might be the case. Punch that hard as Pacquiao is. Takes a lot of energy to start those punches. Oh, that's a huge left hand shot. Oh, no, 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 no. And the right hand don't shot. Knock down. Don't knock down. Don't pull him down, Manny. As I was saying, it takes a lot of energy to start those punches. If you don't hit something, Punch it takes the same down. amount of energy to Ten stop seconds. them. And you could get prematurely fatigued. You have to make those punches hit something. Body shot by Pacquiao. Julio seems a little bit flustered by Manny's power. And the first round comes to a close. No, it's okay. It's okay. And when we go to Manny Pacquiao's corner, where they may speak some Tagalog, our interpreter is Ernie Kalu. Okay. <laughs> All right, it out. Okay, Manny. Now here, I want you to use the jab a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. All right. You you a little bit wide down, with your punches. Tell him not to pull his head down. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. You a little bit wide with your punches. Okay. I want you to go behind the double jab. You hear me? Yeah. All right. That you gotta be smart. You know, make sure be first. Okay. You hit him in the bottom, in the stomach. It hurts him. Come on. Keep punching. You watch the combination. Pacquiao winds up throwing the left hand underneath, which is very good. But then his arm winds up getting wrapped around his head. You see it right there, and he just pulls him down to the ground. Thus the call of no knockdown when Julio went to the canvas. Now round two begins. Another straight left hand by Pacquiao. 
And you heard Julio's corner saying, hit him in the belly. And down goes Julio. It was a perfect execution of what he was told in the corner. Double jab and throw the left hand. He did it. Look what we see. The kid listens. Hey, come to me. Bueno. Box. Freddie Roach told him to go in behind the double jab and followed him with the left hand. He did it twice in a row in the second one. Dropped Julio. This is some prospect, Bobby. To me, he's every bit as exciting as Prince Nassim Hamed. He really is. He can punch. He can take a punch. He's aggressive. And he loves to fight. You okay? Second knockdown of Julio. No three knockdown rule in effect. I think Julio's going to have trouble finishing this round. I really do. Julio trying to fight his way back. A little grabbing and holding might be the thing to do. Pacquiao's just getting ready to swing away again. And Bill Clancy's seen it up. Devastating second round TKO for Manny Pacquiao.